Um, as I mentioned, I'm Regina Cross and Hi, Regina. I'm the director of the program, and I'm happy you're joining us today. I'd like to introduce your host for the trip, uh, Kately, Caitlin Perry Dial. And Caitlin, would you like to say a few words? Hi, Janine. I'm Caitlin. Um, I'm really excited to be leading uh, this tour for our MSU alumni. Um, I'm the director of development at the libraries on campus. Um, and I've been uh, an employee at MSU for about five years, um, but I'm an MSU alum myself. And I'm super excited about this program because um, I kind of got into the field that I'm in. I'm a, I'm a historian by training and trade, I guess, um, it, by going on my study abroad uh, in the UK when I was a student. So this is just, it's going to bring me back to me as a student. Wonderful. Right. Okay, now I'd like to uh, introduce Erin um, Holtz. She is a representative from Go Hagen and Company, and she's going to go over the itinerary and all the information that it would be good for you to have. Take it away, Erin. Hi, right, Janine. It's so nice to meet you. This is going to be a really intimate uh, briefing today, so lucky you. But before I start, I just want to really thank you for um, booking your trip with Go Hagen and entrusting us in your travels. You're going to have a wonderful trip. I have no doubt about it. We've been operating this program for many, many years. So um, it's going to be a smaller group. Um, that's the great part about our village life programs is we keep them small. Um, and it'll give you an opportunity to really immerse yourself in uh, the Dordogne area um, and learn all about the culture, the history, all the amazing food, the wine. So um, I'm excited to be a, a part of your special trip. You know, a lot of it is the anticipation of it. And so um, this is the best part when, you know, you're so close to going and you get your memento box and you start thinking about, you know, what will my days be like? So the pre-departure uh, briefing um, as far as what we'll go over today is I won't spend a lot of time on the day-to-day -to -day itinerary, but talking a little bit about kind of what to expect, um, how to help you prepare for the trip, and then really answer any questions you have. Um, if I don't have an answer, Janine, I'll make sure um, to find one for you and get back to you on it. So um, when we talk about the itinerary, it's uh, nine days, seven nights. Um, you know, you're staying at a beautiful hotel. Um, there's a lot of great um, UNESCO World Heritage sites you'll have an opportunity to visit. Um, like I said before, a lot of history, a lot of culture, amazing food, uh, cheeses, suffering or savoring truffles, drinking amazing wine, um, and just the natural beauty of the area that you're in. So um, there is... We have a total of 19 um, guests booked on this uh, trip, plus one travel director. So we have a Go Hagen travel director who will be kind of your main point of contact uh, throughout the program there to answer any questions that you have. Um, and then Michigan State has a group of uh, 10 guests, I believe, uh, plus uh, Caitlin. Um, and so... There are a couple other guests um, from Drexel, and then we have six with Tennessee. So a, a small group, mostly Michigan State um, alums, but a few others sprinkled in. But the group is going to be small, which is perfect because, you know, you're really going to get a chance to have an intimate uh, time um, meeting and mingling with your fellow travelers, making some lifelong friends along the way. Um, and just enjoying this kind of one of once in a lifetime opportunity and itinerary. Um, you already got your box. You already have your bag, tag, uh, your name badge, um, your universal plug adapter was in there as well. Um, you should have gotten a plastic Go Hagen uh, bag tag and then a paper Go Hagen. There you go. Plastic. Yep. You can perfect. And did you get a paper one too? Yep, I got yep. the orange. Okay. Well, so the sorry, my, I, I should take my blur off, but yes, I got it. No, a, it's okay. Yeah, perfect. Put my home, I put my home address on them. I hope that's okay. That's fine. Yep, that's okay. absolutely okay. Um, when you get out, um, 
into the arrival hall. So you go through customs, you get your check bag. That's when I recommend you put that paper uh, bag tag on. It is paper and sometimes they rip off. So it's best to wait until you arrive to put that on. And then I'd also recommend you put your name badge on as well. Um, it helps the Gohagen travel directors to identify you when you walk out. Um, so just wear your name badge, get that um, orange or yellow bag tag on your suitcase, and they'll probably spot you before you spot them. Um, but when we talk about day of arrival, um, you know, you're going to arrive at the Bordeaux International Airport. And when you arrive, um, the airport meeting point will be Terminal B near the, the information desk. And this was uh, summarized for you in the final program summary. And I think today maybe the transfer information form uh, went out or you will be receiving it shortly, which will have all these details on it. Um, the guides will be waiting with Gohagen and Company signs that look like this. Um, and so if you, you know, you get there, you see the sign, walk over, um, the transfer time from the airport to the hotel is three hours, depending on traffic. So, um, you know, make sure you, you use the restroom before you go. There will be a comfort stop along the way as well. Um, so just kind of prepare yourself for the transfer time. Um, if you get, when once, oh, go ahead. Yeah. All right, can we go back? I saw on the yeah. slide it says that um, for flights arriving no later than 11 a.m. Uh, mine gets in at 11.20. Okay. And, and I did, yeah, and I did um, notice on the email that I got from, I think, um, last week that it said flights arriving no later than 11.20. So I'm assuming they made that accommodation for me. It'll be okay. Yeah, they're not okay. going to leave you. Yep, <laughs> okay. yep. I got to get <laughs> They said the the transfer was leaving at twelve twenty, so I've got an hour to get through customs and get my bag. So hopefully, okay. that won't be. They won't leave you. They won't oh. leave you behind. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, one thing to make note of, Janine, is when you arrive, make sure your cell phone is charged. Um, and we recommend that one person, you know, if you're traveling with someone else, they have an international uh, phone plan. So something if you haven't already done so to, to talk to your cell phone provider about, but we want to make sure you have your cell phone on because if we need to get a hold of you, um, we'd like to be able to, to call you. Um, so just make sure your phone's charged, you've got your phone turned on, you understand the calling codes and how to call your travel director if there's an emergency. Um, if you have problems on day of travel, and you need to get a hold of somebody, um, please make sure you call before you email. Um, it's always best to call. Uh, Janine, did you book your your air with Gohagen or did you book that with, uh, did you book that on your own? I booked that on my own. Okay. So if you have disruptions with your air travel, just make sure that you communicate that with the travel director. Um, you know, if your flight's delayed, they'll know they they should know because they have your your flight information but always best to communicate if you're if you're running late or if you're having problems okay okay um the the lead td or the travel director for this program is marilyn parker um she's been in the industry for over 30 years she's fluent in french and spanish she's ran this program many many years um, but she's just there, I shouldn't say just, she's there to ensure the program runs smoothly, your hotel and room is ready for you, your luggage gets delivered on time, excursions happen on time. So if you have any questions or you need help, um, Marilyn will be more than happy to accommodate you. Um, as far as the beautiful hotel that you're staying in, the Plaza Madeline Hotel, um, it's absolutely charming. Um, 39 stylish uh, rooms with air condition, air conditioning if you need it. I don't think you probably will. Um, it's a family owned hotel. It's 100% non smoking, which is wonderful in France. Um, it's, you've got a reception desk with a concierge um, assistance from 7 30 a.m. to 11 p.m. If you have questions or just, um, you know, maybe restaurant recommendations, always 
great to reach out to the concierge. Marilyn may also have some recommendations for you as well. Um, free Wi-Fi throughout the hotel. There's a bar with a beautiful terrace that offers light food. Um, there's a full English uh, breakfast buffet daily. It has an elevator. There's an outdoor heated swimming pool if you want to bring your swimsuit. Um, a business center. And then there's um, an ATM, dining, uh, laundry and dry cleaning within walking distance. So the hotel doesn't have laundry or dry cleaning. So if you need that done, um, you can do that off, uh, off site or outside of the hotel. It will also be probably less expensive to have it done elsewhere um, if the hotel even did it. So there's a lot to see and do within the, the area. So you'll be comfortable walking around shopping and um, checking everything out. Um, as far as the room itself, there is air conditioning, there's complimentary Wi-Fi, you have a flat screen TV, directile phone, a mini bar, a hair dryer, so you can leave that at home, um, a safe, toiletries, bathroom and slippers, and then the voltage is 220 volts. Um, which your adapter will accommodate. It's not a converter. So, you know, if you plan to bring your own special blow dryer, it won't convert. So you would need to get something that would convert. But, um, you know, for just things like, you know, charging your your phone or your watch or your iPad, all those, all those will um, be able to, to operate using the adapter. Um, food and beverage, which is my favorite part of any uh, travel program. We've got breakfast, lunch, dinner uh, built in. There's a welcome reception, um, but so many amazing, you know, um, culinary delights that you're going to be tasting like wine, cheese, um, like I said before, the truffles. So just enjoy the cuisine. Um, you know, you'll visit a local market. Um, and have an opportunity to indulge and taste some some amazing food. Um, like I said before, we've got uh, U University of Tennessee alums, Michigan State, and then Drexel, so a total of 19 uh, booked guests. Um, as far as preparing for your trip, Janine, um, passport valid uh, six months beyond the return date. Um, you don't need a visa. Um, one thing to kind of be mindful of is I wouldn't recommend, you know, you taking your passport with you on excursions, keep that in the safe. Um, I always recommend a copy of your passport, something to tuck in your day pack, but you don't need to take your passport out and about with you all the time. It's always best, I think, um, to stay in the safe uh, back at the hotel. Um, as far as vaccinations, we don't rec we don't mandate that you have your COVID vaccine. It is um, suggested if your COVID vaccine uh, vaccination, um, you know, you can carry your COVID card with you. I just take a picture of it and have it on my phone. I've never been asked for it, but it's always good to have. Um, if you aren't feeling well, um, just be considerate of your fellow travelers. Try and isolate, distance, wear a mask. Um, consider wearing a mask over on the plane if, you know, you're worried about getting sick or, you know, you don't want to get sick while you're, while you're on your trip. We definitely don't want you to either because this is such an amazing program. So just be careful, be considerate, um, and make sure you have, um, you know, you're being safe. Local so currency is, oh, go ahead. I did have the last my last COVID vaccine was in September, which is the last vaccine they had available. So is that okay? Okay. Yep, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's great. Erin, can you go over, do you know if someone does uh, say um, is ill, well, what are kind of the protocols if say, for example, they do get tested and are uh, COVID positive, what the protocol would be is that they will just social distance people or will they have to quarantine at all? So it's changed, um, I would say within the last couple of months and we do recommend, you know, distancing, wearing a mask, um, but we don't, we don't have a policy that says that they have to 
isolate. It's a little bit different on a ship, right? Because we have to abide by the ship's uh, protocols. But for a land program, you know, if you do test positive, you would, you know, have to socially distance, wear a mask. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Erin, do you recommend that we bring a COVID-19 test with us? I don't think it could hurt, Janine, if that, I mean, they're so small. I, I mean, if you, yeah, I would bring one if I, if, you know, if I was wanting to prepare. And I feel like if you bring it, then you won't have to test. <laughs> <laughs> Say like um, an umbrella. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> so you have your umbrella and your, your, your COVID tests in the same, same pot, same spot. Yeah. Um, local currency is Euro. Um, have you gotten Euros yet, Janine, or were you planning on getting uh, them while you were over well, there? Yeah, I had 10 Euros left from another trip. I was going to throw that in. Obviously, that's handy. But then I thought about trying to get it. I'll be in Paris before my transfer to Bordeaux. If I have time, I'll try to do a um, do an exchange there. Perfect. We recommend. I recommend doing it while you're over there versus here. Yeah. So you're on top of it. Um, just carry the, you know, small denominations of, of cash with you. If you have 10 euros, that's perfect. Um, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't have all your, your euros on you at once. Um, we also recommend, you know, using ATMs that are attached to a bank. Um, mm -hmm. those are always safe. And then, um, you know, make sure you have your credit card numbers with you in case, you know, your credit card goes lost or stolen on excursions, you know, one credit card and some, a small amount of cash. You don't need to take your whole wallet with you. Um, and then for, oh, go ahead. Aaron, yeah. Is yeah. American Express pretty accepted throughout? Yes. Uh, we'll be traveling. Okay. Yes. Yes. You, you may... I don't want to say all. Um, I I would say Visa is probably more common than American Express. Regina, do you have more thoughts yeah, on that? Yeah, I I yeah. think um, carrying one of each is probably best. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. Yep. Um, as far as gratuities, so um, what is included would be gratuities uh, for transfers and luggage handling between airports and hotels. Um, gratuities for guides and drivers on excursions are included. And then gratuities for um, wait staff for included meals that are part of the Go Hagen program are included. Um, gratuities that aren't included would be if you uh, arranged your own transportation um, and Go Hagen didn't help with that. Um, gratuities for hotel staff, we recommend one to two euros per day per participant. And then um, a gratuity for your Go Hagen travel director. It's not required, um, but you can uh, give a gratuity at the end of the, the program. Um, euros uh, will be accepted. And then I just also want to end this by saying, you know, gratuities are kind of a hot topic right now just because you know, so many times people are asked to tip, but just know that gratuities are at your own discretion and should be based on the service you received. Um, weather, weather, it's going to be, I would say, are you in Michigan, Janine? Or are you somewhere else? No, I'm in, I'm in Washington state. I'm in the Pacific Northwest. So this is so like, your... <laughs> yeah, it's like, you're... <laughs> it's about what, what's up there. It's about uh, high forties low 60s okay. so you you're just you know exactly how to how to dress and everything you didn't even have to change <laughs> any of your wardrobe so that's fantastic um and then france is six hours ahead of eastern time it's always good to plug that in your world clock on your phone um and then as far as preparing for your trip clothing and accessories i probably don't even need to go over this with you um layers uh, comfortable walking shoes. Don't wear anything brand new uh, on the excursions. Um, if anybody knows, you know, a light jacket or a rain jacket, it'd be somebody like you in the Pacific Northwest. Um, modest clothing, which if it's cold, you shouldn't have to worry about, but shoulders covered. Um, and then a day pack. It's always great to pack a little 
a day pack or a backpack that you can take with you on your excursions, a camera, hand sanitizer, uh, wipes, PPE, um, and then the uh, electric currents and plugs that I have here, which your adapter will accommodate. So um, you shouldn't need anything extra there. It's got two USB ports on it, so you can plug your phone in that way as well. Um, for your carry-on, uh, make sure you've got your passport with you. I always like to say, make sure you just put it in the in the same pocket every time. Sometimes you get distracted and careless and throw it somewhere else, and then you think you lost it. Um, a photocopy of your passport, um, any insurance policies or phone numbers that you may need in case there's an emergency, um, hand sanitizer, uh, any prescription medication, over-the-counter medication, um, if you need to bring an extra prescription with you or a copy of that prescription, it's always a good idea. And then any toiletries that you want to bring with you, whether it's, you know, uh, toothpaste or something like that, it should be in uh, bottles that are uh, no more than three ounces. And then just something or some things I should say to keep you comfortable on the flight over, whether it's an eye shade a neck pillow, um, earplugs, a little blanket. Um, have you traveled to Europe before? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, I have. Okay, so you kind of know what you probably need on that flight. So just make sure you've got that with you. Um, managing jet lag. I'm sure you're prepared for this as well, but just get plenty of rest and do the best you can to adjust that first day. Seek out sunlight um, and try to stay alert and awake grab a coffee, maybe a croissant. It'll help kind of push you through the day, that first day. Um, and then the GoHagen travel document. So that final program summary document that we sent out, I always recommend printing that, putting it in your carry-on. Um, when you get your carry-on bag out, just tuck that in there. We have a lot of times people will leave it on their kitchen counters. Just make sure you have that because it's got a lot of good information you may want to refer to later. Um, and then, of course, the emergency contacts if you need assistance uh, while you're traveling. Um, Janine, each night um, there will be a program summary or a little itinerary in your room for you so you know what to expect uh, the next day. Great. And, you know, I kind of want to end this with just, you know, enjoy yourself. Let Marilyn kind of worry about the details. Um, enjoy the slower pace of European life for a while. Um, we enjoy some wonderful French cuisine and have just a wonderful time. So thank you uh, for your time this afternoon. It was really nice to do this kind of one-on-one. -on -one. Um, do you have any questions for me? Uh, no, I'm super excited. Okay. Thanks for all the information. It was really helpful and a good reminder of some of the things I, I um, remember to do. So um, appreciate And the communication from Gohagen just, just been very, very good. So okay. thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Great. Well, Caitlin, I hope you have a wonderful trip too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Very excited. Okay, the one thing I do want to mention, I'm just taking a look um, at our Bright Crowd online directory. Did you get a chance to sign up for that at all, Janine? Oh, yeah, I put pictures and everything. Oh. All right, <laughs> wonderful. Well, um, just a reminder that during the trip, um, you can add photos to that. There will be a, there is a photo album, so um, it's available. And you just at the hotel, there there'll be Wi-Fi. So if you want to upload photos, we'd love to see them. So. Okay. Well, and I'm I um I haven't been able to locate my Nikon camera, which I'm hoping I can. I've got to go through one more spot. It might be otherwise it'll just be my phone, but. Um, I have a, I hope the Bluetooth works on it because it's really great because um, I can download it immediately onto my iPod and then upload yeah. it. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, so I've, yeah. I've, that's my, on my list of things to figure out this week. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, if you have any questions leading up to the departure of your tour, please let us know. Um, yeah, the only thing, and I didn't put this on my allergies is because it's sort of just, I've sort of just figured it out, but 
I had an allergy to truffles. Then I had an allergy that expanded to wild mushrooms. And now it's for any mushroom. So (laughs) I know it's a bummer. So um, if you see me not having truffles, that's why. Although I love them, but they don't love me. So (laughs) do you happen to put that in your profile as a dietary restriction? Yeah, I did. And I probably should have. But um, yeah. Do you have access to the portal, Janine? Did I you? probably do. Yeah, I said I, I, I put information in there before, so I'm sure I do. Um, but it was, um, yeah, I just figured it out in the last three, four months exactly what's causing the problem. It's any mushroom. Is it okay if I send this on to our uh, travel yeah, advocate? Okay. Um, I just want to make note of this. I won't so. die or anything. Like, I'm not going to go into, you know, some sort of. Um, um, shock, but it, it, it will make me very uncomfortable. And I probably won't be able to travel the next day, do anything the next day. So. Okay. All right. You bring some Benadryl with, Benadryl with you too. Do yeah, you travel? They, yeah. That's not, it's that, that's not what, it's a gastro. Okay. Thing. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's a bummer because I love mushrooms. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have been talking about truffles, but that's okay. I love all my. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll make sure this is noted in your profile. Thank you, you Aaron. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all righty. Well, if uh, Caitlin, do you have anything you'd like to add at all? No, just excited to meet you in person, Janine. I will uh, um, see you in the Bordeaux airport. Okay, sounds great. I can't wait. And um, barring any. Um, unforeseen travel arrangements i'll be there right on time so awesome we'll see you there (laughs) okay and so this recording i'm going to uh, send it out on the chance that you've forgotten something that that aaron covered so i will get that out to everyone thanks regina you've been helpful as well good 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 yes all right well thank you for attending and thank you Aaron, very much and caitlin thank you take care safe travels See you, Caitlin. Bye-bye. Nice meeting you all.